Mona said a very good evening to you. And we are doing a quiz today, especially of the chapter number 17, which speaks of all the law of the of the circulation of the panels. Okay. So let's let's see the first sentence now. Qualora il conducente veda un automobilista fermo per avaria del veicolo in autostrada, si deve fermare a prestare soccorso. What is the answer? Next, what are the next doing? Falso. In autostrada, by law, you're not allowed to take anybody, a lift anybody. So you can't stop a driver, you can't help a driver, he's, he's got a problem in autostrada, and you can give him soccorso. You are not allowed to do so. This is falso. By law, there will be specialized vehicles doing that. I ciclisti possono viaggiare in tutta sicurezza. If you want to know, the, uh, this is always going to be falso. When they say, when they say that there is all safe, there is no problem, no difficulty whatsoever, they are lying. They're beginning to lie now. It's because they say the, a, a cyclist can go with totally insurance, security. Uh, uh, I don't know. Ashoko, your mic is on. In traffico extraurbano, traffico extraurbano, people drive 90 kilometers an hour. Perché i conducenti di veicoli e motore sono sempre capaci di prevedere eventuali loro cadute. Because car drivers are always uh, able to foresee that you might fall down. So they always be, they'll be careful. You don't worry. Let them worry about you falling down. That's what they're saying. But that is not what we teach you. Okay? Uh, pericoloso sbandamento dovuto a irregolità del fondo stradale. But you know, if they say, ciclisti che in tutta sicurezza, you can start saying falso because I know it cannot be vero. In caso di ingombro della carreggiata, remember the expression ingombro della carreggiata, what it means? It means you're blocking the road because of what? Caduta accidentale del carico. Your merchandise accidentally fell down. Deve pre-segnalare ostacolo mediante segnale stop. You must signal your obstacle by the stop sign and we don't have stop sign in our cars unless Jenny went and bought for that also stop sign. Jenny, buy a stop sign as well. <laughs> in your, since you're already buying panels è vietato ai conducenti di motocicli trainare o farsi trainare altri veicoli what is your next doing? what are your next doing? it's vero Michel it is forbidden for motorcycles to uh, trainare to pull somebody o farsi trainare or be pulled by somebody at the vehicle and that is vero Chandra can't it understand this? no sir the previous question I believe you have to put a Triangolo, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Okay. Un, pedone, un pedone può attraversare la strada in tutta sicurezza. Once again, you see this one. Uh, this is also falso. You see how, are you, are, you, are you beginning to reason with me? When they start saying such things, that it's totally no problem, no danger, it's all easy, you should know they are pulling you towards falso. Passando, he's saying a, a pedestrian can always go in total safety. Passando a distanza ravvicinata rispetto al parte frontale di autocaro. So basically there's a truck at that, uh, truck at that traffic uh, in, a, in a close to a, uh, in a intersection. A pedestrian is going on a footpath. He's saying, they, what they're implying is that the driver is able to see that I'm walking over here. He'll not kill me because he's easy, to, he's easy for him to see that. No, the truck drivers cannot see you. That's why when it turns green, they start moving ahead and very often people get crushed. So, uh, fermo, uh, the autocaro fermo in Colonna, who's standing in a traffic light, traffic jam, che sta per ripartire, and they're about to start again, in quanto sicuramente avvistabile del conducente, because surely the driver can see you. No, he cannot see you. Il caravan non è considerato un remorchio, perché può essere adibito alloggio. Now, this is also falso. A caravan is a remorchio. Whatever is being pulled, it is a remorchio. He's saying it cannot be called a remorque because it is made for residential purpose. Perché a debito alla loggia means what? It is made by factory in order to be able to stay inside for residence. But that is falso. Not true. Now, you know, the, <clears throat> this panel is used when your merchandise is protruding outside the car. Now it says, look what it's telling you. Pannello raffigurato va messo anche lato. Lato means what? On the sides. You put on the sides of the vehicle. Quando il carico sporge oltre la larghezza del veicolo. If your merchandise is protruding in the width also, then you must keep them on the sides. And the answer is? Falso. It must be behind, right? Well done. <clears throat> Può limitarsi will always come in falso. Please. Può limitarsi will always come in falso. Take a screenshot. <laughs> it means he'll do, he just need to do one thing. No, just simple thing he needs to do. 
he can, you know, but the benefit says poor limit RC is going to be false. So, Sui motocicli è vietato trasportare oggetti che sporgono longitudinalmente rispetto al sagoma del veicolo. He's saying we cannot transport merchandise, which is protruding in the length of the motorcycle. And the answer is? Falso. It is allowed. Your, Moses, what happened? You raise your yeah, hand. Yeah, I'm saying that number eight, you didn't mark it. Number eight, I didn't mark it. Okay, respect to the Moses, is falso. Number eight, I didn't mark it. Polimitarsi is falso. Let's carry on. Il rimorchio è parte integrante del veicolo a cui è stato abbinato. Now remember, carrello appendice is considered to be integral part of the vehicle. Now this is telling, it's also kind of a rimorchio, but it's a special category of rimorchio, which is not, even though it looks, it is a rimorchio, it looks like a rimorchio, but by law it is considered to be a part of the car, so the laws don't change. We see that car along with that carrello appendice, we think it's only one car, and we, all the laws applied as if it's a one car driving and not pulling anything. So rimorchio is not a parte integrante of veicolo, but in case of rimorchio, if it said carrello appendice, then it would be vero. If, it, if the word said, instead of remorque, if they said Carlo Appendice, this sentence could have been vero, okay? But it won't come, but I'm just letting you know by law. Falso. Nessun veicolo può trainare o essere trainati da più di un veicolo. We just learned it. What are you next doing? Vero. No, no vehicle can, can pull or be pulled by more than one vehicle. And this is vero. We just learned it in the theory. Now, this, you know this panel. Pannello in figura segnala carichi indivisibili che sporgono della parte posteriore del veicolo. Yes, these are un, undividable merchandise. Because if you could divide them, you would put them in the car. So if, if you are, it's the fact, fact that it's protruding outside because it's indivisibile. And it's on the back of the car, and this is vero. Quando si traina un rimorchio per trasporto di animali vivi, occorre animali vivi will always be falso. Take a screenshot. Always falso. It's a good day for you. <coughs> animali vivi, whatever sentences, you will find animali vivi in different sentences, and they all are falso. Uh, now, Freno a inertia. For those who don't know what is freno a inertia, I take a screenshot of this word that is highlighted and then I show you what is uh, freno a inertia, the picture of it. Then take a picture of the picture of it also. <clears throat> now, these are inertia mechanism. This is, uh, this is an inertia mechanism. Means what? The car is in the front over here. And when the car puts a foot on the brake, there is a, there is a, the, the remorque moves ahead. And here he pushes this button. And this button will make the remorque stop. So the, between the time of the time when you put, stop the car and the remorque, there is a difference of a fraction of a second. That's called freno in air. That means what? It's a push brake. Okay. So when this, if you're not using it for a long time, there'll be rust accumulated inside over here. And that could cause inefficiency of your uh, of the of your uh, the system. So uh, I, this is sentence is saying that. Now let me let's let's go back to sentence. Nel rimorchi con freno in inerzia, in the rimorchio which has got freno di inerzia, dopo prolungato periodo di inattività, after a long period of inactivity, i freni potrebbe aver perso efficienza. The brakes must have lost the efficiency a causa del ruggine. Ruggine means rust. R U S T. And this is vero, okay? Il numero massimo di posti sulle autovetture indicato sulla carta di circolazione. The maximum amount of passengers that your car can carry is mentioned in the carta di circolazione. And yes, we know it is true. Vero.